Hello. Hello, New York Tech Meetup. You like my glasses? Okay. Um, what is this? No. Be serious. If you find what that is, you get it. No. What is that? For free. I gave it away for free. Find it. No. No. Hey. Yeah. A mini 3D printed Buddha. That is it. You got it. I give it to you after the meeting. <laughs> Who really thought I would give away that machine for free? <laughs> Be serious for a minute. So, get them off and check. So, this is a 3D printer, which is probably, I do believe, the coolest tool out there these days. And when you have one of these, what you need is a 3D printable file. So how do you get a 3D printable file? You have basically three ways to do that. One is 3D scanning something. So more on this in a minute. Uh, one is 3D design it. So you go you take a 3D CAD software and you spend hours designing your things. It's like, um, yeah, it's like designing your own e-commerce website using PHP and Notepad or VI. VI guys out there? Um, and so the other one is go and download some files. So that's the easiest way by far. And that's where you need My Mini Factory. So My Mini Factory is, My Mini Factory is the largest, world largest by far, uh, independent platform for curated, tested, 3D printable files. So what do I mean by tested and curated? Um, well, if you go on YouTube and you double click on a video, or you click single click, I'm, I'm old, uh, you single click on a video, uh, and that video happened not to work on your device for some reason, might happen, well, it's no big deal. You just click another one. Uh, it's not the same game with 3D printing. First, because 3D printing takes time. So if you uh, launch a long print and you happen to realize after five, six, seven hours that it's not what you wanted or it doesn't work properly, you're like disappointed, uh, to say the least. Um, and also, you've wasted a lot of material, consumables, cost money. So with 3D printing, you really want to rely on a platform that offers you files that you know have been tested. And every single file on my mini factory has been tested and printed. And you don't see much of these uh, 3D rendering. What you see is actual photos of the objects. So uh, how does this work? Uh, basically, you can look and browse in all of those files and get inspired. Or you can go for some categories. One of the um, trendy category, well, depending your gender, um, is the shoes. Um, because yes, these days we can have beautiful and wearable shoes. Um, I have one. So, um, yeah, actual shoes. And when I say shoes, I mean shoes. Things that are kind of flexible and wearable, and you can actually work with, uh, work with them. So that's this one here. Uh, by the way, the designer of these shoes is uh, Michele Badia, is um, uh, an Italian designer, talented, living in London, in my team. Hey, Michele. Ciao. Grazie mille. Um, so uh, you go there, you click, you download. Uh, by the way, you download for free because all the files on my mini factory are free for you to download. You don't pay for the files. You, pay, uh, you don't pay anything. You just use a credit. So when you register on the platform, you have five free credits. <laughs> and tonight, just because we are here together and we are happy to be here, uh, I will give you another five free credits for free tonight. So join us at the after party. We will distribute vouchers for you to have another five free credits for downloading more files. So you download that file. You can use it in any uh, 3D printer that you might have. Um, this is here a Cura, a software for uh, that printer here, and you open that file and you can print it. And you can do that with shoes, you can do that with anything, you can do that with uh, in the... Um, um, please, stop it. 
um, uh, the Internet of Things uh, is uh, using those things for you know bespoke casings and things. Uh, wearable technologies use 3D printing for so anything you like. Um, and one of the recent projects that uh, my mini factory has kind of uh, launched um, is Scan the World. Scan the World is a project where we invite people like everybody, like you, to participate and uh, take photos, tons of photos of landmarks and statues and whatever inspires you in your environment and upload those photos to us, like send them. Uh, we'll take care of the rest. We will analyze those pictures, we will um, extract the geometry, generate a mesh, um, check that file, print it, make sure it works, and um, upload that to the platform for the whole world to be able to download it and, and print it. So one of the recent ones that we had for New York is the well-known um, bull of Wall Street um, that has been uploaded and it's now available and you can easily download it and get it. So think about like schools, education and all the rest. That is just a, a, a nice, cool, ambitious project. But again, my mini factory is a platform for all of these files. And because we have that crowd of people connected to it, having a printer willing to print for others, and that crowd of people connected to it willing to upload their design, we call them our um, designer exchange. So we can rely on them to, again, uh, take care of large projects of printing massively or designing bespoke things. So again, if you have any kind of project that is in a way related to 3D printing, be it um, needing some printers to flame it or whatever that is eye maker, be it you need some help with designing, printing or whatever, this is my mini factory. So we are happy to be here. Um, uh, I didn't mention if you decide to participate in Scan the World, you send your pictures to STW, like scan the world at myminifactory.com. And uh, if you want to know more, uh, you join us at the after party out there. We have uh, prepared a few things for you, discounts, uh, discount on training classes in filament. We have more free credits for you because we're happy to be here. And um, by the way, we are hiring. So if you want to join, apply at imaker.com. And if you are happy to be here, tweet us. That helps. And uh, thank you very much for your attention and for your patience. All right, questions. Questions. Yes, right here. Talk, talk about the IP issues on the, on the site. Um, we, whenever anybody uploads a file, we ask them that they uh, confirm that they own it or they take kind of responsibility for it. If it's obvious that we know, like, you know, they, they, up they upload Mickey Mouse or something, we know and we, again, because we curate everything, so we know everything that comes, comes up, you, we, we see it. And if we happen not to know and so you believe, we believe him and, and we upload that and then we receive an email saying, hey, that's not yours, then we remove it immediately. Oh, you mean for Scan the World? Yes. Oh, yeah. So, um, uh, um, as far as I understand, um, um, that's why we have started with these um, statues that most of them are in the public domain. But the most recent one might not be. So, for those we care more, we, we pay attention, we check. Uh, but uh, when it comes to a um, Venice de Milo from Le Louvre in Paris, uh, so that's something that is out of it. Um, um, so yes, we, we take it based on one pro, what, uh, what do you say, one by one. Um, yeah. Case by case. Case by case, thank you. Mr. David Aronoff. How do you verify that the models are actually uh, manufactured by each machine? How do you verify that you can actually manufacture it on each machine? Um, we, we actually print them. Oh, you mean on each machine? Okay. We, we, we do print each and every of them on one machine. Uh, we don't, I cannot tell you that we have printed them all on all the possible machines. We print them all on at least one. So uh, that's, that's more than 
whatever others do. Most others, they just share and that's it. Whatever we receive is printed. That's, that's full stop. Nothing goes online unless, unless we have printed one copy and take a picture of that one. And what you see, uh, again, what you see on the platform is not a screen rendering like other platforms would do. What you see on the platform is an actual photograph taken on our in-house studio of the actual print that we have actually printed. And sometimes, most of the time we try, we even kind of finish them nicely or put them in situation or paint them, not all of them. Some of them we just take pictures like straight away. But we print them all, that's the promise. Have you ever worn a shoe like this? Yeah, <laughs> honestly, you want to do it? No, I, I, I trust you, just curious. No, they work. It's actually they, remarkably on, cushy. Honestly, they work really, um, yeah. it's just like, it's not my size. I would, I would wear them. Watch out, Crocs. All right, next question. Yes. Do you reveal which machine you have printed each, uh, each thing on? I, yeah, that's a good question. Um, we keep track of it, just in case, but we don't kind of reveal it because as you understand, we, um, my, my Factory is a sister company of iMaker. iMaker is a partner of all those brands. We sell the printers from those brands. And we kind of would not like them to say, oh, wow, you're using that machine, not my machine. You should use my machine. And we, we can, as I said, we cannot print every file on every machine. That would take too much time. So no, we don't reveal it. Yes, we do it, and we keep track of it. Maybe customers could help verify, and then it would be their fault, not your fault. The truth is, in the mid-long term, we will more and more rely on our members to do that. So today, we have an internal task force in London. I didn't mention the business was starting in London, and we've just expanded here in New York, Lower East Side, um, 152 Allen Street, if I may. <coughs> but, uh, I love so that the, area. The, the, great. the business was started in London. That's where we have the largest uh, uh, team out there. And, um, and, and, and that's where we print everything. But in the future, we will more and more rely on the members, the partner, and when, when you print some file for us and you send us some pictures, you gain credit. So I, I mentioned earlier, you need credits to download the files. When you register, you get five credits for free. Because you're here tonight, you get five more. But if you need more than those 10, uh, be nice with this and you will get more credits. So if you print a file that we have and you send us the picture, then we are so happy because that's one more when you tell us, I've printed that on that machine. So you get more credits for that. And so in the future, that's how we in, in ambition to get them all printed on the most possible machines. Great. We're going to leave it there. Uh, you can ask more questions at the after party. After party. And, yes. and uh, yes. see this up close and personal and wear the shoes and, and everything Take like care. that. Take care. All right. So that is this month's New York Tech Meetup. Thanks, everybody, for coming this month. I hope to see you next month as well and see you at the after party.